Hey, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use proxy files to edit quicker and easier in Final Cut Pro. Using proxy files might just show you that your old Mac might not need an upgrade just yet. So let's get into it. When you create this proxy file, you're essentially making a low quality version of the original media, which allows Final Cut Pro to edit it much easier and quicker. Alright, once you've created a new project in Final Cut Pro and you want to import the media you shot, you're going to right click and bring up the import window like this. And basically all you need to do, and this is very simple, select your clips, so I'll do these two, and you're going to go over to create proxy media and make sure that is selected. And that is all you need to do. You can also create optimized media, but in order to create proxies that has to be checked off. You can play around with the frame size, but if you go to 50%, that typically works the best. Once the import is complete, you'll be able to go to the View drop-down menu and select Proxy Preferred or Proxy Only. This tells Final Cut Pro that you want to edit the proxy versions of the original media. Pretty much the only downside to editing this way is that your preview in your window here is going to be lower quality. And you can really only tell if you zoom in and kind of pixel peep. Just for reference, let's go back to original media and you can barely see a difference. The last step in editing with proxies is when you're ready to export your media, you're going to want to change it to optimized or original media. Otherwise, you'll just be exporting a proxy version of the entire project. Final Cut Pro gives you a nice little reminder if you ever forget to do this. I'm fortunate enough to be editing on one of the new M1 MacBook Pros, but before this I had a 2016 and it was extremely slow without using proxies. So if you find yourself with an older MacBook and you're having a little trouble, try the proxy method. It could potentially save you a lot of money in buying a new one, although I can't recommend the new M1 MacBook Pro enough. They are insanely fast. Hopefully I helped you out today, and if I did, let me know in the comments, and if you have any questions or comments, if I did something wrong or there's an easier way, please leave it below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.